You know, I've, I've been thinking recently, there is a difference between poor people and rich people. Yeah. You know, like poor people, they live in the third world. And yep. poor people, they don't eat much food and yep. they get they get bombed by US drones. But rich people, they watch YouTube videos of other rich people teaching them how to be more rich. There's heaps of them on here. And I think we should decide to not be poor and watch these videos. I would love that. Yeah, let's Please. do it. There's this guy, Dan Locke. I retired rich at age 27. What do you consider retired? You're 40 now and you're still making videos, but it doesn't look like you're retired. <laughs> I never saying. had to work again, but I'm gonna tell you again and again, every Bye. single day, another video of how I never ever have to work. Seven things poor people do that the rich don't. Number one, poor people watch TV and rich people read books. <laughs> Wear your glasses, bro, that's so fucked. <laughs> This is a common trope that rich people have, you know, fucking Ty Lopez. Knowledge. In my garage, I've got books. And it's like, no. Reading a book is no different to watching a show because there are just fucked books. Like there are so <laughs> exactly. many exactly shit books. I read Hungry Little Caterpillar like over and over <laughs> and over again. <laughs> poor you know, people watch TV. How poor are we talking? Because in my scheme of the world, the poorest people in the world can only read books because so they can't much. afford a TV. TV's got electricity. Yeah, exactly. And you need to plug them in somewhere if you're in like a bloody village. But what Dan Locke is telling us, they're the future billionaires. How many hours you spend in front of the TV and when was the last fucking time you read a book? How many books do you read per year? Why is he so angry at me? How many hours do you fucking <laughs> fuck a book, you fucking loser? But wait, 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 wait. Does this count as TV? People watching him on a screen no, this isn't on TV. This isn't TV. Computer's this great. is what we're watching now is not. <laughs> this is going to make us rich. This is going to make us rich. Okay. Number two, poor people get paid based on time. Rich people get paid based on results. I mean, all this is true, but it's not something you can change. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you can't just like <laughs> walk into your McDonald's and be like, forget this hour by hour things. I'm going to make you the best burger in the world. And you pay me for the quality of the burger. Like, you're fired. Like, yeah, it's exactly. Like... He's just stating rich people thing. Rich people, the ones with a billion dollars in their bank account. <laughs> Poor people, the ones with none. Rich people, Lamborghinis. <laughs> Poor people. people. <laughs> Number three. Poor people, they blame others for their misfortunes. Rich people, we take responsibility for our own failures. I can't wait for him to throw these sunnies off the balcony. <laughs> Some poor person gets like smashed in the head. Just kill fucking poor person. Poor people get hit by people's sunnies. <laughs> Point number four. Rich people murder people from balconies. <laughs> you see, for poor people, it's always somebody else's fault. It's the economy. It's the government. It's my boss. It's never their own fucking fault. Rich people will take responsibility. If your life stinks, it's your fault. I really hope this is just a lead up to him committing suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Rich people take responsibility. But it's also just such a dumb American thing. Like it's your own fault. In like a country that like you can get a random disease and just become like $700,000 in debt. Yeah, it's not what rich people do. Yeah, rich people just don't <laughs> get disease. Don't get sick. Number four, poor people focus on saving and rich people focus on investing. Well, here's the thing, a penny safe is still a fucking penny. You're not gonna get rich by trying to save a few bucks. You don't have a saving problem, you have an income problem. You need to earn a lot more money so you could invest. Poor people cannot invest because they're poor. You're not helping anyone here. No, he's suggesting instead of eating, you put half that money you need to buy a bread loaf, put it in Dogecoin, put it in the mm, S&P 500, risky. you know? Yeah. Yeah, make some money. Is he, wait, let's see what Dan Locke does for money. Oh, his business is just teaching people. Yeah. He's a grifter. What I want to know is how you start this business. How do you start being the king of closing? Because He's, your first job you've had is teaching people how to do this job you haven't had. Yeah. The secret is, as long as you look the part, people, there's a lot of idiots out there. There's a lot of people who are just poor. Yeah. <laughs> and they're trying to look for anything they can to not be poor. Yeah, that's it. Uh, how to become a millionaire step by step. By the end of this video, we could be millionaires. Step by step. I mean, how do you how do you fuck that up? One of the most toxic concepts and one of the most toxic ideas that you've been exposed to is this: that somehow, if you make money in a very short period of time, 
that somehow you make money quickly, it is a, a bad idea. You heard of the term get rich quick. The idea of getting rich quick is a bad. It's that the people who try to sell that to you are a grift. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like, no one's saying the idea of receiving the money is bad. It's that the idea of that it can happen is bad. Oh my God. When people say, oh, is this get rich quick? You better hope that it is because you don't have time to get rich slow. We got the same haircut. Who? Me and Dan Locke. Oh man, you a billionaire? I got haircuts quick. <laughs> Didn't have time for that. I hope he keeps talking about time. This man, he's gonna kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> Wealth is measured more in time than in just money. Let's say you make $25,000 a year. And let's say you work 40 years. How much money you've made? One million, million dollars. Fade into it. One million dollars, a lot of money. Absolutely. You've made a million dollars. The question is, are you rich? Yes. No. <gasps> Why not? because it took you 40 years to accumulate a million dollars. What I don't understand is because, you know, this man is an idiot, but he gets a lot of views and it's not all hate views. So someone's no, watching this and, and taking notes like, oh, playing completely wrong. Money now. <laughs> Money now, a million this year, not a million in 40 years. Now let's look at a different scenario. Let's say you still make a million dollars, but instead of taking you 40 years, you make that same million dollars within 12 months. We oh, what kind of comparison is this? <laughs> Imagine making 25,000 a year, but imagine making a million a year. We should respond to you, but imagine making 10 million a year. Uh, <laughs> like, oh my God, guys have solved it. Hey Dan, imagine a million a minute. <laughs> Bro, we should make our own channel. <laughs> Big bigger numbers. You make that same million dollars within 12 months, within one year. Now, are you rich? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! He's, he's got a point. This guy's good. How do you become a million? The truth no one tells you. You have a million dollars in a year. What is the difference? It's the same one million dollars. The only difference is the time that it takes for you to make it. And the cool thing is this, when you make your money in a relatively short period of time, guess what? Now you have more time to enjoy it. Is there waiting for oh 65 my God. Years? This feels like it's being described to aliens with no idea what <laughs> existence <laughs> is like on Earth. Yeah, how like physics work. In our universe, time moves in a linear fashion. You start here, you get older. The truth no one tells you. Guys. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. It's just like a prison sentence. It's like serving 60 years, prefer to serve a day. True. That means once I'm done, get more time to do it. Yeah, <laughs> true, true, true. Get more true. time doing other things. <laughs> no one tells you that about prison. Everyone signs up, he's like, I want a hundred years. I want to be in there for life. <laughs> no, think about this. Got to more time. More time. What the hell, guys? <laughs> now, what if you make a million dollars a month? Let's think bigger. Let's what, he did the joke? <laughs> he knew. <laughs> I swear, if he, get, he, he does a day, if he gets to a million dollars a day. I love the idea of sitting on a car and explaining how time works. It's like, the people need to know. A million dollars a month. The person who makes a million dollars a month is 12 times richer than the person who makes a million dollars a year. This is how you become rich. What the fuck? This guy's got a problem, it feels like if someone's in a mental home for schizophrenia, this is what they imagine they're doing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like it's... Just the people need to know. Presentations to the psychiatrist. And just, a million, this is how I became a Yes, Dan Locke, yes. Rich people, we value time more than we value money. Poor people, they value money more than they value time. <laughs> Not in the way you talk about it, what do you... Same. I don't understand. What people like, oh, I wish I had a million dollars in a hundred years. <laughs> what I think it is, is that he's really, really dumb. And he needs to justify how he made so much money. It's not because it's a fucked up system that privileges yeah. certain people. He made this money because he did something differently. But he's so dumb that all he can think of is like, what's the only, what's the thing that I do? Well, I guess I understand how time works. <laughs> I guess that's something there that poor people are doing. It's, it's, like... it's pretty upsetting that someone this dumb is this wealthy 
This makes me feel like we should be scamming more people. I think it's gonna be a little bit more evil. And that's why if there's something you know, with my Bentley, an oil change, or I gotta go do something or fix the car, I'm not gonna do it because it's not worth my time. You, you, don't, don't, know how, how, you don't know how to do it, firstly. There is absolutely no way this man knows how to do it. Oh, he's talking about him doing it himself. Yeah. I thought he's just too rich to drive safe vehicles. Oh. <laughs> My car, the brake doesn't work. I just don't have time. Who needs brakes? They just slow me down. It's all about time. <laughs> Road safety is for poor people. Who don't understand you need to get places fast. I don't have time to fix it. And I only need my car for leaning on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Realistically. <exactly. laughs> so now I just make videos in front of it. Now you may be saying that, well, easy for you to say, you're damn locked. Finally, people learn from this. When people used to say value your time, I never properly understood it. Now I do. That what? From that takeaway of literally going, <laughs> if you make more money in a day, that's good. You were like, oh, oh, that's why my time is valuable. Now I don't know what to think about Dan Locke. If people are legitimately this dumb. Yeah. Like he's doing a great thing. He's teaching people what time is. <laughs> like, I think that's amazing. If you tell people out there who didn't know that they watched Dan Locke's video and they're like, thank God. Time. Like, I was in some kind of time loop before this. I thought I was watching this video for my whole life and now I'm finally living. I, if I, I would be annoyed if I was in limbo living for an eternity and then Dan Locke broke me out of it. I'd be like, you dickhead. <laughs> I was oneness. I had it all. I was the chief nirvana. I was, and I was eternal. How to introduce yourself. Come on. Yo, man, this is Dan Lock. How are you doing, man? Give me a high five. Nice to meet you. No, that is not how you introduce yourself. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Yes, that was fucking sick. That was the best thing he's done in his whole time. I would hire that man. I was gripped. Like, and he immediately breaks character like he was too lame to even continue. He says no, but then does a whip hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was lame. <laughs> I do not do that. <laughs> Wait, have a look at this. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hate that angle. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad angle. That was worse than your dick angle. Okay. Sorry. Dan Just to get distracted. Dan Lock. Dan Lock. How do you introduce yourself? Or sometimes, how do you introduce others? Maybe you want to introduce this person to this person. Uh, let me give you a very simple way of introducing yourself. My name is... What? <laughs> My name is... I'll give you a little trick. A little... <laughs> this is one that you maybe haven't heard of before. It's like he's pretending it's entrepreneurial lessons, but it's just like the most basic <laughs> lessons of how to be a human. My name is... Your hand, like this. Check the hand. Firm handshake. It's like that. Sometimes you might do something like this. You handshake, and then you put your hand over the shoulders like that. That's good too. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives this person the space to say all these things? I wonder how many different ways of shaking hands is going to show us. My name is. So if you want to be a little bit more, right? Just he did it like four times. Oh my god. god. My, my name's, name's Dan, Dan Long. Long. <laughs> This is pretty good. My name is Dan Locke. Shake hand. It's a pleasure meeting you. See that? Very, very simple. Very, very, very simple. Of course it's very simple. <laughs> of course it's simple because you're just not saying anything. <laughs> what a psychopath. I was so prepared to like make fun of entrepreneurs and all that kind of bullshit money stuff. I wasn't prepared for this. No. This no. is not anything. This is so <laughs> crazy. When a billionaire has to teach you and how to say your name because your parents are incompetent. YouTube's so accessible to everyone. You don't know how to say your name and you're capable of commenting. <laughs> Did your parents teach you how to comment? Or are you just a fucking idiot? Like, I just don't... Ah, I love this. Wonderful talk as usual, Esther. <laughs> I'm often inspired by you. Are these bad bots? I they just got bots. the wrong video, yeah. Esther. <laughs> Great work, Esther. Yeah, this is Abraham Esther Jerry. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your teaching. I wonder if we can work this out. Thank you, Esther, Jerry, Abraham, Tracy, and your wonderful <laughs> team. Incredible Abraham Now series. So the bots are getting confused and commenting on the Let's, wrong video. You see what Abraham Now is? Yeah. So it must be in like a religious channel that's also <laughs> paying for bots. Sick. Joy is the king. This is much better than Dan Locke. Hey. Hey. 
Hey, everybody. Hi. I'm glad that you're tuning in with us. Wait, wait, do you know how many views this has? I saw 14 million. That is insane. What the fuck? Thank you, Esther and Abraham. It could all be bots, literally. This religious woman doesn't get enough views. So instead of praying, she pays bots to watch her videos. This That's is... the future of religion. <laughs> just instead of having any kind of flock, any of these just robots. Just preaching to a thousand robots. I'm not going to talk to you very much right now. In fact, I'm not going to talk to you at all because I'm going to go get our friends. I'm just going to relax. It just takes a little bit of time. If you know anything about this, then you know. I'm going to go get Abraham. And if you don't know who Abraham is, good luck with that, right? Okay, here I go. What? Okay. This is fucking I'm scary. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh! We are right here. We are right here right now. <laughs> and we are extremely pleased that you are here. Oh, this is too freaky. Yeah, I'm too scared. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I think it just reveals a lot about both of them, especially him, that... No one's watching these videos. Well, they both paid for the same bot website and the wires got crossed, but no one gives a shit because <laughs> anyone who comments on either of these things are brained it. <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> That's it. People just like, it's weird to call him Abraham, but, but all right, I guess dad Abraham now. <laughs> so these numbers, right, are probably very, very fabricated. I've yeah. seen that you can pay for 600 bucks, you can pay for a million views. Yeah. So obviously it looks good to have a lot of views. It's just funny like comparing where the bots came from, seeing that these two are one and the same thing. This like schizophrenic woman, who's, whereas like a split personality, it's just like, that's how schizophrenic he sounds. He's just like saying complete gibberish and really unfortunate people are listening to him and giving him money. Yeah, they are literally exactly the same. 